Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we'll take a look at how to defeat the guardian ape forward slash the headless ape. My name is Azavar or Azza. Now let's get into the video. First of all, let's take a look at the equipment and the items that we'll be using. We have the spear and the firecrackers equipped as the prosthetic tools. We also have mortal draw as combat arts. Quick items are healing gourd, purple gourd, yashiriku sugar, divine confetti and ceremonial tanto. Don't worry too much about the type of spear that you have equipped as long as it's the first four, one, two, three, four, those spears there, that should be fine. And the firecrackers, the first one, two, three firecrackers should be fine. You also don't 100% need the ceremonial tanto, but you may need it in phase two. I'll explain that when we get there. Okay, so there's a few different ways that we can approach this first phase. First of all, I will show you the quick way, which is just before we get to this tree, just wait here. And then we're going to apply all the items. So let's use Tanto, Divine Confetti, Yashiriku. Go in for it. This is the quick way. Firecrackers. Into Mortal Draw. One, two. Mortal Draw again. One, two. Wait two or three seconds. One, two, three. Mortal Draw again here. He's clipped us and taken us out of it. That's fine. Sometimes that will occur. That's the quick way. Okay, just going to show you the quick strat one more time. Yashiriku. Divine. You could also pop a... Ceremonial Tanto. Run up. We want the firecrackers. Firecrackers into Mortal Draw. Mortal Draw again. Second time. Wait two or three seconds. One, two, three. Back into Mortal Draw again and get the death blow straight off the bat. So that's the fast way of getting that. That is the fast way of phase one. I will also show you the slower way to do phase one. Okay, we are back at the start of phase one. I'm just gonna show you a slightly different way to do phase one. This way is a bit slower. You can still kind of do the uh, same intro to an extent, I'm just going to back off and let him do some different attacks. So the other way of doing phase one is locking on. Keep your sprint button pressed. You want to be about a medium distance away and then as he's coming to attack you, just pull back and sprint backwards. And depending on what he does, we're going to approach him and do various different things. You can sometimes get in one attack there. Keep on pulling back. This way is a bit slower and you have to be very precise about when you're going to attack. You can get an immortal draw there. Or even just one standard attack after he does that ground slam thing. We've got Monkey Poo coming up. Run underneath him. You can get a mortal draw from behind. Make sure to back up. You also don't have to use Mortal Draw, you can just use a standard attack, it's absolutely fine. Gonna apply Divine here. You could also pop on Akko Sugar for this bit or any other sugar. Let's uh, switch the Yashiriku out for Akko actually. And uh, we'll use some of that. If he does that, you can jump to the side just, as, just before he uh, hits the ground. So just kind of bait him in a little bit. He's done the ground pad. Getting maybe one or two attacks. We're looking for prime opportunities to attack at this point. Which is not very often. So you should probably get in one there. Just pull back once again. Just keep on running around like this. Locked on. Medium distance. He's going to probably jump, yep, so just jump just before he hits the ground. You want to be jumping sort of like diagonal out of the way. You can get in usually one after that little swipe there. He also might fall on the floor here. You can get in a mortal draw. 
whilst he's doing that kind of like tantrum thing on the floor. One attack there after the swipe. Just be careful. If you don't run away fast enough, you'll get caught just like I did there. He's going to jump, just jump diagonally away just before he hits the floor with that roll grab. Sometimes get in one there. Although that's not the safest. We've got Monkey Poo coming up. Run forward. Get behind. You can mortal draw. Or even just standard attack is fine. Because there is an animation. Uh, sort of delay after mortal draw. To keep that in mind. Jump just before he hits the floor. In sort of like a away diagonal motion. And that one just keep on locked on. Running away. Medium distance. Here comes the, uh, the monkey special. Just get behind, mortal draw from behind. Sometimes getting one there, but it's a bit spicy to get one in just there. Sometimes getting one there as well, sometimes a bit spicy to get that in. Here comes the monkey special. From behind, mortal draw from behind. That's really all he's uh, got to offer really with phase one. Run away, jump just before he gets that floor, uh, just before he hits the floor. And just keep this kind of distance really, um, keeping your eye on what he's up to and stuff. You want to be making sure whilst you're running around like this and whilst you're at medium distance, you want to be making sure, ideally, keep in mind what is behind you or what is behind the camera. Because if the wall is is behind you you might get stuck and pushed into the wall here so just try and keep in mind exactly what is behind the camera because obviously as you're running away at this medium distance you want to be wary not to run into a wall because if you run into a wall that's bad and you will most likely get spanked by the monkey So just keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, that's kind of phase one. There we go. He'll never be head of the class. Phase two. So this bit is a bit... Um, got quite a few different things popping off on this section. So that's his scream. We can use the purple gourd at the start of this phase to protect against the terror status and the terror buildup. If you can parry that, you can also do massive damage there to Vitality using the spear, pulling the centipede out of the ape's head. This one jump to avoid the perilous attack. He's going to use the scream. That's why you can use Purple Gourd in this phase. It does protect against that terror status a little bit. This is going to be... This is where Tanto would come in. We don't have any Spirit Emblems, so we can't use the Spear. So this is where Tanto would come into play. So what you can do is back up. Go grab the Tanto. Pop that. That gives us the five temporary Spirit Emblems. This is where Purple Gourd would come in, so it can protect against that terror status a little bit there. Just back up for that one. Parry Parry is going to go into the overhead at this point, get the spear ready. Parry the overhead, spear straight in. Up to massive posture damage. And that's the end of the fight. Back up for... The Scream. We've not managed to get the uh, death blow yet, but that's fine. So overhead into parry, into spear. Massive damage. Massive damage. Okay, so that is the fight there. I'll just run this fight a few more times to show you some more bits and bobs. Just going to show you phase two. So this one, let's get ready for the phase into the screen so we can do some Yashiriku some Divine 
You can use the Tanto, you can use the Purple Gourd. So parry this, and then we're going to... If he does that one, you can kind of go around the back a little bit. He does a few attacks towards the front. Um, you can actually just shimmy around to the side uh, and keep attacking from that back leg, from behind the, the back of the leg. Just out of reach of the scream. This one, just jump over. If he does like the, the sort of belly dive onto the floor, just jump over and avoid the attack completely. He's going to do the attacks, multi attacks at the front. Just go around the back, shimmy around the back of that leg. Keep on shimmying. You can just keep on piling on the damage to that back of that leg there. Watch out for the terror scream. You can use the purple gourd once again. That's the belly dive thing. Jump over the attack and get your attacks in. That's a parry parry. There's the overhead, get the spear ready, parry the overheads into the spear. Massive vitality damage with that one. It's going to go into the overhead. So parry and you can get the massive vitality damage again with the spear. over that one. I'm going to use purple gourd here. So parry. Parry is going to go into the overhead. You could also use Tanto if you needed. Uh, extra spirit emblems there. I believe it's time for a Tanto. That's phase two again. I'll just show you some more. And this is where the Tanto comes in. So if you have used a lot of your spirit emblems or all of your spirit emblems, you can use the Tanto. You can also apply Akko and Divine before he gets up. Let's just go over some more Phase 2. But if you see the Scream, obviously you want to back away just uh, outside of the Scream. Jump over that one if he does the Belly Dive thing. There comes the Scream. You can kind of see the screen coming in because he does like a, a weird kind of wiggle dance thing. So, watch out for the wiggle dance. Ideally, you want to get parries there if you can do. On that one, once again, you can just slide around sort of like the back of his legs here and just keep on attacking. There comes the wiggle dance. Uh, once again, you can use the purple gourd, kind of defend against the terror a little bit. The belly dive there, just jump over the sword attack, getting your attacks from above. What else have we got going? Jump over that one, that's the perilous. The wiggle dance. Pop some echo, pop some divine at that point if you want to. You could also heal up. Just out, if you just get yourself outside of the terror scream, you could heal up. Here comes the overhead slam. You can whip out the spear. Get some real good posture damage in there. That one that takes a massive chunk of health away. He's going to do the overhead once again. So parry, get the spear ready. Give it a good insane posture damage with that. And that's essentially the end of the fight. Just going to see if he's got anything else he can show us. It's the jump up, oh, just just jump over that as he's about to hit the floor. Just get ready for it and jump. Wiggle dance. You could use your Tanto and stuff like that. It gives you a bit of time to use stuff when you're just outside of that terror screen. Jump over. Wiggle dance. He's really enjoying his um his wiggle dance today. Was it overhead? Get the spear ready. And that's the end of the Guardian Ape. There we go. No time for monkey business.
and that covers all the guardian ape forward slash the headless apes moves make sure to let me know in the comments if you do have any questions or anything hopefully this video helped you out if it did remember to like subscribe and drop a comment thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one